How impressed with you your effort there in the first period to take the three nothing lead and take control of the game early? Yeah, I mean I think it was huge. Obviously, uh, you know we um, we realized that Union was a strong side of the team. I think they got uh, 14 or 16 of their 33 goals in the first period. So, uh, we needed a big stop. It was important, and uh, obviously the guys stepped up to make sure they the first period. Jeff Malcolm's play the last three games and three straight shutouts. What is it? Just how impressed are you with that? I'm real impressed, and, and more so than with the fact that it was a shutout. But I mean, it seemed like I mean, each one of those games was different. It had a different character as most games do, and, and uh, you know, um, he played with confidence. He gave our team stability in the moments that we needed stability, and, and that's what you hope for in the whole time. Jeff, can you talk about you know the, the, all the differences between the three shutouts you've had? Was this the hardest one because you faced a lot of shots? I mean, I don't I don't think it was the hardest one by a, by the shot number, but um, I guess like Keith said, it's three different games. You just gotta prepare yourself three different ways. Um, you know our game plan coming in and just trying to have fun, battle, uh, make the saves, try and help your team win. So that's all I've been trying to do all year, and it's just not going to work out in the last two games. Does it make it easier when your team gives you a four-goal cushion uh, early in the second period? I don't think so at all. I mean, you just got to worry about the next shot, and <clears throat> you never know what shot's going to be the game-changing one. So it doesn't matter the score. I still got to bear down and make a save. Brian, after your four-goal loss last weekend to Cornell, was this a big game for you guys to get some confidence back? Yeah, for sure. I think it was the first time we scored more than two goals all season. So and that just, you know, is a... Uh, because if we're getting pucks deep, keeping it simple, and I think we got away from that starting at the Cornell game, and then we're slowly getting better. And I think as the season goes on, we're going to keep getting better, and we're going to get a lot more gritty goals. We still haven't you know, capitalized around the net as much as we like, but I think as the season goes on, we're going to get grittier and grittier. Dan, talk about what this experience meant for you, scoring your first two goals in the same night. Well, it's been a while since I've felt that feeling, so it was pretty nice. And the first goal there, uh, me, Ruder, and Nico have been... Uh, Getting a lot of pressure down low, but it was nice to finally just crash the net and they went home. Nico made a great play to get the puck to the net, and Ruder was going hard, and I was just there to tap it in, and everybody was going crazy, so it's a good feeling. The second goal, I mean, well, how surprised were you? Because it was, you know, you're just looking to get on net, or did yeah. you see a screen there? Yeah, I mean, I, I knew I was trying to shoot through the defense, and there's a screen there, but, you know, shooting from around the blue line, I wasn't expecting the puck to go in, just trying to get pucks to the net, like we've been saying all night, and, you know, lucky enough it went in. Coach, you said at the beginning, of the season that it was going to take time for your offense to click, do you think it's finally coming around? I think it's a step in the right direction, but we're a long way from, from where we want to be and where we need to be. So, uh, and uh, you know, it will be a work in progress. But, uh, tonight was better than last night, and uh, last night was better than last weekend. So we're moving.